Dr. Carl Yamashiro is an Associate Clinical Professor and the Program Coordinator for the Biomedical Diagnostics Master's Degree Program in the College of Health Solutions at Arizona State University. He works closely with industry to ensure that his students graduate with the knowledge they will need to succeed in this rapidly evolving field by engaging students on real world projects. Since launching in 2014, the Biomedical Diagnostics Applied Research Program has partnered with 40 organizations and institutions to offer students a unique real world experience while building a collaborative bridge with industry. Carl Yamashiro has been named the Michael A. Kasanovich Arizona Bioscience Educator of the Year for his ongoing work to prepare scientists, healthcare teams, and industry executives to leverage the power of diagnostics so that they can deliver better health solutions. There are three types of tests out there. There is one that is used for the detection of the virus using a technique called PCR, uh, and that is used basically to determine whether a person has an active infection. The second test is an antigen test, which is also a way of detecting the virus using different methods and different markers to identify whether the virus is present in an individual. And if that comes up positive, then the person also will be identified as having an active infection. The third type of test is one that is looking for antibodies made against the virus. So these are typically called antibody tests or serology tests, where one takes some blood and be able to analyze for the presence of antibodies that have been made um, in response to an infection by the virus. And this allows one to determine whether someone has been previously infected and also can provide evidence that they may have uh, basic protection against the virus for future infections. Although uh, it's at this time, based on the knowledge that we have, it's not guaranteed that if you are positive with an antibody test that you definitely have protection against the uh, virus itself um, when you're exposed in the future. The ASU team here through the Biomedical Diagnostics Program, really driven by Mar Aspinall and Nate Wade within the College of Health Solutions, has engaged with the World Economic Forum and the Rockefeller Foundation to basically be able to gather and uh, analyze and then to dis disseminate information to the public, to especially businesses out there that are looking to reopen and to reopen more safely. I've always enjoyed teaching. I was still a teacher or a mentor to many of the employees that I've hired uh, in the companies that I worked at. I was at a crossroads at the time, uh, about six, over six years ago, where I was looking for something different to do. And so I looked at ASU, and I was uh, at ASU for a number of years before that, but I looked at ASU and I saw an announcement basically describing the International School of Biomedical Diagnostics. This intrigued me. I also saw that within this school that there would be a master's degree in biomedical diagnostics that would be offered. I'd like to thank all the students that I've had over the years uh, of teaching this. It's, we're now entering our seventh year. Uh, we've had 200 uh, graduates, and I look forward to working with uh, more students and hopefully helping them on their path to become future leaders in this field.